Yes, I'm ready to go when you guys are. Okay. <laughs> Who are you calling a hole, Martin? Oh. oh. It's a good day to go hiking. Yeah. I'm glad we made it out. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, like we're gonna be walking on a uh, I mean, called a rail trail. It's like a gravel. A trail that is only for bikes and hiking in the summer and in the winter uh, they grew into cross-country skiing I've actually yeah, skied it a few times it's like all kind of flat and you know it's good for cross-country kind of skiing you know, to work on your you know endurance and the technique It's like you should really give it a try, like you know, cross country skiing, Martin. Because like, uh, I think your wife likes it, right? Yeah, she says she likes a lot of things, but who knows when the last time she went, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if you guys ever want to go in the winter, you know where to call. <laughs> and I have a, you know, sp uh, like a set, an extra set of skis and a fur. You like it? Like you just have to buy shoes. Yeah, your own boots, because... Yeah. How are the boots for that shit? Like, you mean how much or how? No, like, what is it, like, like a certain type of material, or...? Well, I mean, it, uh, how to say it... It's not the plastic crap that you, you, you normally use. Well, I'll just show it to you, right? I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but... Uh, uh, there are different kinds of, like, you know, boots for a different kind of how they call it like like in the mounts whatever yeah so it all depends on what kind of a mount you have but i got uh solomon so if you buy a solomon you know boot it will fit into the mount and yeah you're good to go like your size what 12 13 buddy 13 yeah well it ain't easy <laughs> It ain't easy, you know, uh, to find a... What are you, 12? No, Martin, I'm 11. Okay. Looking up for me, it's pretty easy. Yeah, anything past 12 gets uh, fucking tough. Yeah. 12 is usually the max. Yeah. Especially with the sports gear, yeah, that's kind of tricky. I mean, worst case scenario, you could probably make something custom made, but I don't know how much it's gonna cost. I mean, if you would go to buy basketball shoes, it would probably be easier. <laughs> but other than that... Yeah, so I guess it's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time, you know? I mean, you can say to the women, oh yeah, you know, I'm a size in a 13, <laughs> I have big feet, if you know what I mean, but when you go to buy shoes, it's like, oh fuck, not, not much so of a choice. Not so tough big foot. <laughs> big foot, yeah. Are they, okay, yeah, we're good. You know, the guys trying to tell me if I'm too fast or you know too slow again. Oh, I was just saying, like guys, I mean, let me know if I'm you know walking too fast or too slow. 
Yeah, because I don't want to make you know, the same you know, mistake that I've I mean, made with my wife and pushed her too hard. <laughs> Fuck you fucking crazy! Yeah, and then... You know, she, kill me! She doesn't want to you know, do sports anymore. Well, well, she drag out Neko's husband out sometime. Uh, Put his fat ass to the use. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. But uh, yeah, most of my family yeah, don't really want to come out with me like anymore. One time I took you know, my parents on my trail, like you know, like easy hiking trail, but they found it you know too much for them and they don't want to go with me in the forest anymore. So like this way I'm mostly hiking solo now. <laughs> Nobody wants to join me. Like under 10, 15 k, right? If you can. Well, certain people have their uh, preferences. I mean, I took them on like a five kilometer, I mean, hike, but I guess like mosquitoes and the roots, they didn't like it too much, but you know, I guess like I just have to find a group of yeah. hikers like you guys who, you know, don't mind this kind of stuff and then it's all good, but you know, some people just, you know, cannot or don't want to do this. What was the longest video we did out with Bratko, like 20 something K, right? Um. Part of the very first hike we did, yeah. Carthu Alderson Trail. Yeah. The London, I, I think it was like 18. Yeah. And that was like a lot about building shit too, yeah. Yeah, and downhill. Yeah. Like on the mountain side. Yeah. I remember my knees. Oh, remember how I was complaining right before that? Because I was getting shin splits. Yeah. So I was, I was starting to panic. I'm like, oh fuck, it's like a wrong vacation to start getting shin splits, right? But then it, I changed shoes. Yeah. And and that solved the problem. Yeah, she's closer either walking too fast or in proper footwear, yeah. Yeah, the longest I've ever done is, yeah, like under 20k, 18, 19. Oh my god. And by then, we were all a little bit stuck. <laughs> so who went? Dima and you guys? Yeah. Yeah, 27k is a lot. No, that's a serious hike. Oh well, yeah, and it's like going up and down volcanoes and shit, yeah. right? Oh. And we started early in the day, like yeah, early. The first time. I mean, guide. Oh, you found a bigger stick now. <laughs> Dark Fawn song, Bratko, hiking metal punks. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious how... Hiking metal. Yeah. Hiking metal? That's what it's called? Well, they made oh, a song called Hiking Metal Punks because they live in Norway, right? And that's Dark Fawn released a song called Hiking Metal Punks. Oh, I gotta check it out. Interesting. I believe so, yeah. It was too much for Amara. I mean, it's almost 12k. Oh, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go back. Very nice. Yeah, last week I did like a 14. Every other week I'm doing like a 14 kilometer. Oh, that's nice. No, that's good. What do you do, a Lakeshore, Marshall Goodman? Uh, just whatever. Yeah. Like just, uh, 
last week was like all along the lake shore as much as possible. Uh -huh. And we ended up at Slayer Burger. Oh nice, where's that? <laughs> Slayer uh, Burger. Queen and Broadway area. I heard it's overpriced. Oh yeah, overpriced and mediocre. Yeah? Yeah, but I had to find out. And then the one So like where? The, the place where Dangerous Dance uh, that it was? Or? Um, it's just a little bit past uh, east, past the Opera House. Okay. Like the corner opposite of it. Yeah. Nothing special, eh? Oh no. It, it wasn't bad, but it's just like, you know, $12 for a burger. No, it wasn't bad. It's just nothing special. Yeah. The real Slayer burger, you gotta go to Chicago, right, Bratko? Oh, man. <laughs> you guys also have a lot of uh, trails in uh, Toronto, Don Valley trails, you know, the mountain yep. bike trails, but those like those a lot of people also hike yeah. them. Yeah. It's busy though. Yeah, there's always people. Yeah, and lots of mountain bikers, yeah? I mean, I ride them once in a while. Some sections are quite challenging. You still go to Kelso or no? No, I haven't been there for a while. That was pretty decent. Yeah, but I mean, the whole place is kind of small. It's just not enough in the trails, because I like to put in 30, 40 K. I mean for mountain biking, I mean for road riding, I, I usually like to hit about a hundred. Well, I'm sure Durham in the summer is gorgeous. Oh yeah, because yeah. like, I mean there are so many yeah, trails there. I also want to go to Ganaraska Forest. That's uh, like Peterborough area, but they have like also a lot of trails there. I used to race Ganaraska every year. I actually podium there one time. Okay. Well, I came second. But yeah, I mean, it's still good. Yeah, for mountain biking, yeah. Yeah, it was a 30k race. Misha's on his way to fucking Tour de France. <laughs> Not quite there. You said you're part of some club that maintains the trail. Yeah, yeah. Not? Yeah, it's a Durham Mountain Bike Club. Yeah, I mean, I've been a member there for a while. Like inspect or check it out or... Well, just... Groom it. Uh, well, uh, yeah, groom it in the winter. I mean, for example, like in the spring, I used to go and, um, you know, like use a blower to remove like all of the leaves and the small debris of the trail, stuff like that. If there's a fallen tree, you know, we'll cut it and remove it off the trail. And things yeah, like that. Weeks, yeah. Trim the grass on the sides. But then on the other weeks, I should be doing. Uh, also, right? Any other mushrooms up here, Mike? Probably too early, eh? Well, you know what, Martin? Like when I was growing up, my grandfather really knew a lot about mushrooms, but. Unfortunately, I haven't learned much enough from him, so I don't want to take my chances because... Oh yeah, you, you, you can get really sick. You really got to know your mushrooms. Yeah, and in Canada, mushrooms are a little bit different. There's only a, couple, a few that are edible, yeah. yeah. Like in Russia, there was a lot that were yeah, edible, but I'm not sure how it is in Canada. And many people don't really go mushroom picking here. It's not a common thing. Yeah, so there's probably not much to eat here. Uh, probably. So I didn't really you know, want to take my chances, but if I knew somebody who knows... I got some friends in Sweden, they go mushroom picking. Oh, know. cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like in Europe, it's kind of a bigger thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, they have so much more green space, too, right? I don't know. I mean, in Canada, we have a oh, know, lot of nature. Stuff, right? so. Yeah, like I think, like over there, like maybe they're like more kind of trails through the bush. Like rather than here, it's just like thick bush, right? I mean, if you go up north, it's just all forest everywhere. Well, he'll tell you stories. He went to fucking, no, they, I think both of them went to yeah, north, northwest, northwest Territories. Yeah. Oh, nice. You walk in and just thick fucking buzzing. Yeah. yeah. Fucking bulldogs, they call them. They're like these giant, like, what are bulldogs again for? Yeah. Massive horse flies, and you just like you get out of the car, and they just surround you, and it's oh. like, like fucking fresh meat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's weird. Man. Yeah, but I would like to go to Northwest uh, yeah, territories. Yeah, I would like to check it out, but it's probably better to go look in the fall when there are less bugs. Yeah, but it's cold if you don't. If you don't mind the cold. 
Yeah. yeah like two weeks of summer there, so. I'd rather deal with the cold than the bugs, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, bugs can really get to you. Uh, did you guys carry the gear on you? Uh, yeah. Just some camping, like overnight. Maybe like a sleeping bag and shit. Yeah, like a change of clothes. Like Water, probably some food, Water right? Food, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It adds up big time. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, well, I mean, you guys are strong, you know, hikers. That's all I can say because yeah, you're 27k. Like, not in good shape, so. Yeah. yeah, the will, yeah. And, and really face yourself. Yeah, like well, back then it's like I was just like physically not well though. Yeah. Like before I, like, I bet you you could do that hike now. Oh yeah, no, it would be a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Sure. This was before Montana or after? Yeah, before. before. It, was it was like two, six, seven years ago. It was 2014. Yeah. Seven years. Seven years. Oh, around there. Like it would still be challenging. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, but I would like not be crying. <laughs> yeah. Like, leave me. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's true. You gotta have the will because a lot of people yeah, just, you know, don't want to push themselves. Uh, the, the thing is, is that, like, most of you are overpacked, right? And so her, her backpack is actually quite heavy. Yeah. So what I did was, whereas mine was less heavy, so I took her sleeping bag off her. So I was carrying mine and hers plus my gear, right? Just to kind of like lessen, lessen the burden. And but again, like knowing what I know now, I would also pack less shit yeah. on that kind of a hike. Right? Well, we didn't know. Yeah, right. that was our first real learning experience. Like, real hike yeah. experience. Yeah. But again, also back then, like in 2014, I was like still dealing with health issues and shit. Yeah, you're a lot better now. Yeah. Even though it's like weight, weight wise, it's only like 15 to 20 pounds. It, it, but is, that the, is that the hike where you fell on your, you, like, slip and fell on your ass? Yeah. Really? I lost my footing. Yeah. Down where we met that Norwegian chick. And she was like yes. crying. Yes. Right? What? Yeah, yeah. She was yeah. crying? Why? What happened? Oh, she just like, because it, it's a really strenuous hike. And she's just like, kind of like, didn't want to do it anymore. People, people, people started thinking, oh, this is one of the famous things because, okay. It's basically before before there used to be. This is this is like way outside Reykjavik or. No, no, no this no. is like the southern point. So if you look at the map, map of Iceland, it's like one of the southern tips, and um, it's by this place called Skogafoss, which is. Uh, so it's close to the. Lower, like, close, it's yeah, it's right. coastal, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nice. So the the the, the, and, then the go inland. and then and then yeah, there's a there's a there's like a settlement that's behind the mountain. So this used to be the... This is the way, right? Eh? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Quarter to a third. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's not a big trail. Yeah. But, um... I mean, I wouldn't call it abandoned. I mean, people still use it, but I guess it's not a railroad anymore. Thing is, is that like a lot of people do it because it's famous. So and are they ill prepared? You're saying? Yeah, or? they well, don't people, realize people how hard People in the past have died. And shit. Come on. If a, if a really? No front comes oh, in yeah, or something. Oh yeah, Because yeah, like you, can get you lost. go. So you know how in 2011 there was that big volcanic eruption? Yeah. Uh, that grounded all those European flights. Uh huh. So the hike actually takes you past the eruption site oh, so there's geez. all this like that's the uh, lava there. like dried up lava there yeah, that's it's, crazy it's warm that you can like cook food underneath the oh mattress. wow that's amazing yeah so people want to do that because it's your only access to that kind of a thing yeah. yeah but people aren't prepared and to be honest we were also unprepared but not to the point where other people were wow. um, yeah, we um like we did okay but we could have done better yeah. um well, well next time right? yeah i think that like uh, I would do that again. But on the Inca Trail, yeah. there was a girl who was quite overweight, oh, yeah. and she was suffering a lot. Yeah. But she made it, man. 
Yeah. So the fucking Wendy's or McDonald's, right, Mike? <laughs> what does she think? Yeah, I mean, it's not a trip to McDonald's, <laughs> yeah. I realized just how much, like, calories yeah. you burn. And, and, like, people that don't necessarily do anything physical all of a sudden think they can do, like, a 20-kilometer uh, hike. Or, like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that's yeah. tough. Or one woman had a collapsed lung on her third camp. Collapsed she lung? Third, uh, yeah, she had to be, like, taken out. She had a collapsed lung from altitude. Oh, so there's, there's oh. some areas along the Inca yeah. Trail where you can... Some, pe some people get fucked up, right? Oh like my god. a medical emergency. Yeah. You guys yeah. have a satellite phone. Will call, well, like well a, even when we went out west, like we were preparing ourselves like a few times a week, you would hike some yeah. local trails yeah. just to, to build it up, right? Yeah, and yeah. climb. You go all things. at once, 20 kilometers, of course you're going to oh. suffer. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Like I walk every fucking day. But we were playing it safe for Montana. Yeah. That's why we tried to walk a little bit beforehand. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, you're breaking your boots is important, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I don't even wear fucking boots anymore. Running shoes are good enough for me. Ratko, would you ever consider doing a Mount Fuji? No. Oh, that That's like be... a two or three day hike to the Um, If, it's, if it's like uh, somebody like porters and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I would do that. But that for a minute I thought Everest, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have $15,000. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm assuming Mount Fuji is in Japan. Yeah. Because yeah. I went up to the base there, but uh, like the yeah, guys like, yeah, it'll take you at least two days to get up. We yeah. So you need to go with some buddies or guys. And yeah, we'll I mean, I'd go with you, Martin, but like, maybe for now, let's explore mountains in Canada. We have lots of like trails to hike. Yeah. Like, we were even like real mountain maybe trails. Next year, when he's got some more time, uh, Newfoundland, Gross Moor National Park. Oh yeah. Or just a oh, oh yeah, and Newfoundland is not too yeah. far. It's like, oh. what, well, I don't know, two-day drive. Yeah, probably fly though. <laughs> I'll drive a heat flying. Yeah. Scared, Michael? Just take some more out of the pan and you'll be fine. <laughs> like, my thing is, I just... If it's uh, a four-hour flight versus yeah. a two, three-day drive, I'm sorry, I'll yeah. take the flight. Well, I mean, I can always meet you guys you now there because I feel like in a better one, I'm like more in, in control, like in control yeah, just yeah. driving a vehicle and I, I mean, responsible for my own life rather than... Wife's the same way, she oh, fucking hates flying. Oh, flew the plane? <laughs> <laughs> if they like Bruce Dickinson fly, I mean, uh, <laughs> I have to, I go, have to get my license. Plane. <laughs> I have to get my license, yeah, first, but... Maybe you being a true renaissance man. My know? cousin's doing his uh, pilot's license. Eh? Oh, really? Paul or who? Oh, no, I have one cousin in Austria who's already a private jet pilot. Oh, wow. And then the nerdy cousin, he's like, yeah, I was in quarantine. So uh, he started taking lessons at Billy Bishop. Interesting. But, like, not, not huge uh, passenger jets, like those private fucking planes. Oh, okay. Right? So, like, a couple of people, so... I'd be afraid to fly. So he wants to do it as a full-time job, or...? or? Full-time, or maybe, like, he's, uh... He's having some emergency, you know, Mid alternate plans, but... Uh, okay. Yeah, if he ends up getting it, I'll, I'll let you know. Maybe we can go for a flight. <laughs> well, if he buys his own plane, <laughs> sure. But... Uh, you, know, you can rent them out and shit, too. Uh, uh, can you? I think so, yeah. Without the pilot? I don't think so, Martin. No. The co-pilot, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. So, so you have a license, well, that's the kind of thing where have to and they give you a co-pilot or whatever. Oh, okay, know. okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, uh, like, I don't think it works how it works with cars. It's like, okay, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back tomorrow, fill it up. If I'm not mistaken, Martin, I think in Newfoundland, like, they actually still have those, uh, like, first Viking settlements. The yeah, kind of, like, in the houses. Newfoundland, the yeah, Newfoundland, the site. Yeah, I would like to check that out. So, I mean, you, could, actually, you could do that all in one trip. And actually, yeah? not just that, but, like, right, right uh, close to the Viking like, settlement, if you cross over into Labrador, uh, it's, the, it's one of the newest uh, Canadian UNESCO World Heritage Sites. What's up? Where it's... Um, it's, it's, a, it's an old Basque whaling station. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Abandoned, obviously, yeah. right? But it's, so, like, there's a, there, you know, there's a lot of interesting stuff in Canada. Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. Lots. Yeah, that's why, like, I don't even see a point of leaving Canada, you know, anytime soon. So much to explore. So much to explore. Well, Canada, USA, yeah. Misha, how old were you when you came here? I was 14. 14? Yeah. It's been quite a while. And I mean, you were otherwise in Russia proper, right? 
Uh, like outside of Moscow, yeah. Yeah, I mean outside of Moscow, yeah. I went back, you know, to Russia well, like about 10 years ago. I stayed there for two weeks. Did you stay with Babushka? Uh, yeah, I stayed there and, and then I visited uh, Sergei in St. Petersburg. Yep. Um, yep, I mean for a few days and yeah, that was it and I had to go back. But I wouldn't live in Russia, no. I mean Canada is much better overall. Like even nature and everything, right? And Russia has no mountain bike trails, that's a problem. <laughs> Like, I can't live in a country with no mountain bike trails. If they had mountain bike trails, maybe I'd consider. I mean, they have the forest. Why, why don't the fuck they have some trails? Well, because somebody has to build it and yeah. stuff, right? This looks like a moose. Not an Edward? No. No, that's like, I mean, more round and has like a... Could be a horseshoe, too. Yeah, horse? Yeah, I don't think the horses are allowed here, are they? I don't know. I know in some places. I mean, I mean, it would be kind of That's else. Yeah. a tight for a horse. I, like, uh -huh. what about a really? It's a giant. A giant. That's a cool. Like usually, moose like this kind of like yeah. swampy lakes. I mean, they'll go in there and and like eat. Yeah. yeah eat like whatever's on the bottom. Like the yeah, and cool down in there. Oh wow, well, yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah like a little... Like a puffy pussy. Yeah. Like a beautiful eye, Mike. Yeah. Want to be like poisonous and touching it? <laughs> Came too close to the pussy. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine nowadays. Some botanical app. Yeah. Ontario wildflowers. These trails usually not too busy, anyway. Uh, well, on the weekend it gets pretty busy, but I guess you know during the week. Yeah. It's They're learning at home and shit, right? Okay. Yeah. And people are still scared. Yeah, okay. Well, sometimes like you'll see people like even hiking on the trails with their mask, which is really silly. <laughs> people are fucking sick. Trish, if you wear a mask outside, you shouldn't be allowed to breathe. Yeah, it's no point. Like you're doing more harm than good. Yeah, exactly. Nailing your shitty bacteria, right? I still wouldn't drink it because it probably has beaver fever in it. Yeah. It's like a life straw or something. Oh yeah, I mean if you got a filter, yeah, that's yeah, no that's problem. I'm not with this day, but yeah, I do. <laughs> I got one kicking around somewhere. Yeah, I also have it. I, I mean I bring it with me like on a uh, overlanding whatever hunting trips yeah. Opa. Oh uh, yeah? Thick and yeah. Where did you go? I uh, just around Markham, like under the 407, there's some nice trails. I mean crazy like 20k or so. Oh that's nice, but won't you come with me to do around forest? Like it's I mean much nicer trails. Yeah, as long as they're not too extreme, you know. Like, no Martin, there is nothing extreme there. I've learned my lesson on... If it's like this, then obviously my bike can't. No, it is not like that, Martin. No, it's very like smooth and easy. I ride my hardtail there. So hardtail, it means it like only has a suspension in the front. Yeah. It's my cross-country racing bike. 
so yeah it's uh i mean it's not like that i mean this kind of a terrain it's like more of a i don't know quebec or a I don't know, british columbia kind of trails but over there like you have this kind of stuff on the downhills yeah so like you're going fast like through all of this yeah that's beautiful yeah with the momentum yeah. sure. i mean it wouldn't be exactly like that maybe a bit less uh roots but uh you're quite close yeah like bc is another you know great place for hiking and mountain biking very scenic oh, yeah. very beautiful did you go to vancouver or whistler or whistler yeah i stayed around whistler I mean, quite expensive though that's the only problem yeah. very expensive Yeah, see that's a moose. Oh, you yeah. see the print of it's the fucking deep too, yeah. Cool. But not a big moose. Like unless it's a big deer, I don't know. But it looks more like a uh moose, like a medium size, like maybe a female. We're on its trail. Well, you know, they're using all of these uh trails you know too. Sure they are. Yeah, because like, they want to get you know to their water and food. Whatever makes life easier. Yeah. Yeah, because like when I was hunting in the spring you know, for turkey I tried Algonquin Highlands like I was looking for turkey, didn't find much but saw the moose tracks mm. and yeah, like Algonquin Highlands that's like I don't know, like half an hour from here Refresh my memory, sir, are moose are herbivores or...? Yes yeah. But they don't eat meat <laughs> I mean, they might kill a person if they get pissed, yeah. but they wouldn't eat a person. Oh yeah, they're quite aggressive. Like more moose kill people every year than bear. I believe it. Oh yeah, that's a huge animal. They don't mess around. I guess it was an easier way, sorry guys. Hi, right, well this is a nice view. If anybody needs a rest. Lots of water if you don't mind. Do they have water or you want me to? I got some. Yeah, we have water. To squeeze my TD for you? <laughs> Suck on those fun bags. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, I mean, I use this one for mountain biking and hiking, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I put three liters in here, so I have lots of water. I just want to see if it's still recording or not. I hope it is. Not very good with technology. Good thing, not too many bugs. Or maybe the weather in a spring that was going up and down, up and down, hot, cold, hot, cold. Because like at night it was like almost like zero minus one. Maybe it killed some of the bugs. I don't know. But like usually, like even in early June. At least last year, I mean, I remember seeing a lot more bugs. I don't know if it's this way, well, I think it doesn't matter. I guess this way it's better scenery.
Where? See the cross? That pile of sticks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good eye, Martin. That's pretty cool. Massasauga rattlesnakes up here, I've never seen a rattlesnake here. I didn't know we had them in Ontario. That's like the only uh, poisonous one. Oh, I had no idea. No, I think there's a couple in like. Okay, so what's it called again, Martin? Massasauga rattlesnake. It's kind of grayish. Hmm. Yeah, I think like along uh, like some of the Lake Ontario parks and, and further up north. It's and like, it actually rattles. Yeah. yeah. Wow, cool. This is interesting. I didn't know we had something like that. You hear that shit or yeah, the water snakes, right? Uh, right swam right by my legs. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but I don't think they're poisonous, right? The water snakes? The water snakes, don't. Yeah, it just came out of nowhere, right? I'm just they like, just nasty. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of a startling sensation. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Not a fan. <laughs> no, definitely not. I mean, it could be allergies. No, well, I have allergies, but I think it's candida. Like, it causes fungal infection in your nose, right? In your face. But I've incorporated dairy back into my nose. Nice. Yogurt, so that's mucus forming. I thought you were lactose intolerant. Your panties, a lot of your panties are I mean, I. Like, what do you think? Like, I'm also lactose intolerant now, too. Thanks for the tip, nature girl. You're welcome. <laughs> what did she tell you? So? Yeah. What did she tell you? Well, I remember some no, trilliums because of the name comes from a triangular, right? So it has to yeah. like, try three. three right? Oh, yeah. Three leaves. So, one of the few things I remember. Is this a trillium? Don't pick the leaves. Oh, these guys are pretty. Oh, those ones? No, it's a white flower. Is it? Like, isn't this a poison ivy? No, no. No? Oh look, another frog. Oh yeah, we're a frog. Right there, look. Oh, that's a, that's a toad, bro. I mean, how do you know the difference? Well, the toads are the brown ones with the warts. Okay. There was the old Slavic superstition. If it shits on your hand, you're going to get a wart for the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better not pick it up. Get a load of the toad, bro. Like your hat fascinates me. Where can I acquire such a? Oh, piece that's of a cycling hat. Oh yeah. Yeah, it goes under a helmet. So if you wear it back enough, you could probably pull it off as a Jewish <laughs> keeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too big. I mean, a Jewish keeper, like, like a little coaster, yeah, it will go like this around. Okay. 
Dobra. O, he is ready, okay. Yeah, but this is good because there's a good ventilation, but still it protects my bald head from the sun. Paul, you would look like that Neil Peart fellow, you know? <laughs> he was always wearing one. Yeah, I mean, too bad he passed away. He was a good drummer. Are you a fan of his drumming or Rush Mike? Or? Well, I mean, I like some of the Rush songs, but he was a good drummer, that's all I can say, but... I can't really sit and listen yeah. to every Rush song, but... Sure. I can listen to a few and appreciate it. Look at all the windows there, boss. Scattering like sperm towards oh, well, a bunch bait. of little fishies. Oh, that's cool. It's good bait. That's what you use for the big guy, huh? No, I just uh, use the uh, the um, plastic bait. Like I don't like usually do live bait or worms. Yeah. Yeah, but again, I'm not, you know, like an amazing fisher. I just got back into fishing, you know, this year. I mean, I haven't, like, really fished for many, many years. Like, I just enjoy, you know, catching food and bringing it home. Yeah, self-sufficiency. Yeah, I guess it's, like, my, I don't know, uh, like, from Neanderthal days, whatever. So was my mother. Really? She did the test, yeah. Yeah, I think like 90% or something. She has like a lot of Neanderthal in her. Like, I didn't do that test, but if uh, she has it, then I probably have it too. Uh, yeah. Hence the half black comment, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm more, uh, I guess, uh, like a Neanderthal. Like, even if you look at my head, right, the shape and everything. And I have a lot of body hair, so... Yeah, I don't know. Well, like you're a woman. Yeah. I guess enough for a man. Check out this guy. Yeah, over here, it actually like, opens up more, like you can see more. But it kind of looks like old dams that are not really you know, being used anymore. These are all trees they fucking nod, look. Yeah? Nice. Very scenic. You know, this is good. Yeah, I mean, I'm very surprised. I expect a lot worse. Yeah, that's why, uh, you know, I'm not even wearing shorts because I was expecting a bugs everywhere, but yeah, Martin's lucky. I believe so. I mean, there's gonna be some shorter climbs, but nothing crazy. I mean, do you like more climbing? Uh, not mix it up now. Uh, well, I guess. Uh, fine, like, I mean, we could find some like more trails with more climbing. Like, I mean, if you like serious climbing in like Quebec, have like there are a lot of trails with like hour climbs, and it's like all like rocks and the like, crazy stuff. Uh, like getting on your hands, pretty much? Yeah, Valley Brado Nord has, uh, you know, around there, there are like some like crazy, crazy trails. Like here, just like, like old boulders and super steep. Yeah. I mean, if you... Uh, that's how Alberta is, you're basically going up the mountain around and down, right? Yeah, yeah, well Quebec doesn't have as big of a mountains as Alberta, but it's got real mountains.
was actually Royal well, Royale in Montreal. Yeah. What's yeah, that? Montreal is Royal's pretty straightforward, but no, I know. But the thing is, is that we we were trying to get somewhere in a hurry, so we just climbed the side instead of going along the road. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it was like the hottest fucking day yeah. of the year. And of course, we were all wearing all black all the time. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're great, especially for colder season. What's so special about them? Like when they get wet, sweaty, like they don't make you feel cold. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's just uh, like sheet fiber. Yeah. Like wool. Mm hmm. So they usually do like blends. And yeah, like. Yeah, that, uh, that's more like poison ivy, I think. It helps with. Uh, no, it's four oh. leaves. Three leaves. Poison ivy is three leaves. Yeah, it also controls your temperature. Yeah, it helps with cooling off and keeping you warm. Yeah. That if you get wet, unlike uh, cotton, mm -hmm. it'll stay wet forever. Yeah. And it'll leach your body heat. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, hey, like in the summertime, merino's good for cold so It Kind of whisks away. Uh, that is a proper light. Oh yeah. Probably could do some fishing here. Who knows if there are any fish, but it's nice. The upper lakes are very earthy and like weedy, right? Yeah. I mean, it depends on the lake. For example, Lake Superior is not like that, but it's so big. Yeah, but it's a very nice place, yeah. Recording, Mike? Recording? Your GoPro, no? Oh, yeah. Making a little documentary, are you? Of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Martin. It's going to be as up close to Martin's ass. Show it off. Yeah. I mean, we switch, like, you know, sometimes I'm on front. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just going to be short, like, you know, clips of everything. I mean, looking. Yeah. I mean, he's not gonna, well, like, we're not gonna put like a two hour hike because yeah. nobody's gonna watch that. Like the highlights, right? <laughs> yeah, just like in, in a short nature clips. Have you been to Silent Lake? Silent Lake, uh, sounds familiar. It's, uh, it's, it's by, by Peterborough. Peterborough. Yeah, that's a nice place, so I wouldn't mind going up there. That's like a little up and down. Well, you guys let me know, yeah, like, I can always join you, like. You're looking at exploring the bush. What are those pink things, Melissa? Picture plus? I don't know. They're like, they look like pussies, kind of. <laughs> Which ones? These little pink, pink ones. I'll show you when we walk by. They're like, it looks like, like a puffy pussy, pussy, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Like along the path, usually on the right side from what I've seen. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one is. At first, I thought it was like a lady slipper, but it's not. <laughs> So Dave doesn't come out with you guys, right? Because of his mosquito allergy. Uh, this, I think, it's a moose. <laughs> 